Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. This is I Allegedly. Uh, one thing I've had a lot of requests for lately is uh, the retail. Dan, you go to all these high-end beaches, all these high-end cities. Let's take a look at the retail in those cities. Well, I'm going to show you guys. I am on the Miracle Mile in Newport Beach. I'm on Pacific Coast Highway, some of the best retail around. The weather is absolutely perfect and uh, stores cannot make it here. So before I get into this, before we get into all the local news and national news and everything that's going on right now, please take a second. Please hit the uh, like button. Please subscribe. Share this with all your friends and colleagues. Uh, but first things first, okay? I am right on the corner of Pacific Coast Highway and Tustin Avenue. Across from the old McLaren dealership that was right there. That's no longer there. And uh, you're looking at all this retail. This area is absolutely amazing, but you've got so much vacant right here. Now, you know, to give you guys an idea of where I'm at, okay? When you walk through here, okay? How close I'm at to the water. really close to some high-end restaurants there's the bay right there guys so we're really close to the water it's not like we're in the slums or anything like that but this is absolutely amazing that there's this much vacant now I told you guys this driving from you know home through Newport Beach you're seeing a tremendous amount of retail that's absolutely destroyed now A salon hopefully something's coming soon here this place is vacant you know when you look across the street next to the McLaren dealership you got uh, my car auction is down for the camp you've got the boat dealership that was next to that that's completely finished so it's absolutely crazy guys absolutely nuts that you have this much gone now we just got notification that Inflation hit a 40-year high, 6.8%, and they're shocked. Home alone shocked. Oh, my gosh. Okay? Guys, first of all, if you believe it's at 40%, I mean, uh, at 6.8%, you're kidding yourself. I want you to look at everything you've purchased in, uh, in you know, the last month. If you have not seen a dramatic spike in everything, and again, people send me gas prices, they send me you know, price of chicken, they send me, you know, the price of what they're paying for everyday goods and services are absolutely skyrocketing. The one thing that's going to dramatically affect all of us, here's, again, here's another one. This place, completely down for the count, guys. This whole beautiful city cruises, completely vacant, okay? So, if you think that, oh, Dan, you know, I got 99 cent chicken the other day. Of course you did, okay? But you're going to see things absolutely spike right now and continue to spike. I do not believe for the life of me that inflation's at 6.8%. I just don't believe it. Someone sent me uh, information in regards to fertilizer. Now, now, again, guys, if you are a farmer and you grow anything food, weed, whatever, you need fertilizer for it, okay? BLT wine bar across the street, that place has been like 10 different places lately. The sports bar next door to it, down for the camp, closed, okay? Again, guys, this isn't the slums. This is not the, uh, the uh, low-end neighborhood, to say the least. This is a vacation destination and this is something that people travel to all the time. And here on a December day, it's beautiful out here. Okay? Yeah, you got traffic. Sorry about the traffic noise. But uh, guys, check this out. Look at this. What's going to fill that restaurant? Seriously. What's going to take the space of that restaurant? Okay. Who knows? But anyways, the fertilizer, the price has absolutely quadrupled in the last uh, few months. Okay. Now the other problem is if you can get it, Dan, that's what the key to what everybody tells me. I'm paying more than ever for X, but the problem is if I can get it. Now, the last video I did with the supply chain issue, take a look at that. You know, you got the link 
above. But uh, look at this, guys. This is not getting better anytime soon, okay? It's absolutely getting worse. Now, you can go to the boat dealership, okay? Now, look at this boat dealership across from me. Now, these are boats 500 grand on up, crazy stuff like that. But if you look at this and you pay attention to this, there's no inventory. This guy's taking the boats and he's lined them up out front so it looks like he's got a lot of inventory when in fact, this cat's got nothing, okay? So it's absolutely awful. But again, you know, just a different area of the city that you guys haven't seen yet. Some really high-end stuff, but you know, the problem with all the retail is that, you know, I've done videos on half the restaurants are gonna close, three quarters of the restaurants are gonna close. I, I really still uh, feel that that's a problem. One thing that people have sent me information on lately is the restaurant rev uh, revitalization grant they want that to be reopened. That's never going to happen, guys. They're not going to reopen that grant. And uh, the likelihood of that is crazy. Now, give you an idea. They gave money to these people to help with the business problems. And look at these high-end yachts out here. Okay. Now, the restaurant revitalization grant was set up for businesses to get a grant. And basically, you took your... Uh, 2019 sales compared to your 2020 sales and they gave people basically a grant up to ten million dollars based on the size of their business uh, I know a restaurant that got almost nine hundred thousand dollars from that now that's insane guys not everybody could get that there was a flurry of lawsuits from this thing because of uh, one guy in Texas was fed up because they they changed the EIDL grant to where it was for women and the uh, low-income businesses only. And this guy says, wait a second, I'm a single guy running my business. I've got all these employees. It's not fair that you're doing this. And he sued. He got a restraining order against them and made it so that they couldn't issue the money. So they had to resend the money out to everybody. And, uh, you know, needless to say, they spent $28 billion, $28 billion, guys, of that money was distributed. So... I'm gonna go down the coast and up the coast. I guess I'm going down, okay? But I'm gonna go down the coast and show you guys some more. We're gonna share some more stories. Please share your thoughts on this stuff, guys, because again, high-end retail, vacation destination, you know, some really rich neighborhoods up above here, okay, on the hill, all that water and everything. Let me know what you guys think about all this. Now I've moved up the street a little bit and I'm in front of the Balboa Bay Club. This is a very high-end hotel. It's got private residences here. And uh, again, one of the exclusive yacht clubs, beach clubs that people join here in Newport Beach. But directly across the street, you've got retail completely closed, okay? So, you know, that's bad. And then when you move up, you've got a small office building got a four lease sign there but next to that you've got the express loop that's out of business so what is it do rich people not to need to get their oils changed I don't know but again look at this guys completely down okay and again all these cars ripping by it's not like they don't have a uh, uh, you know an audience I mean this it's terrible so we're gonna go down further because this just gets worse and worse and worse. Now, as you travel down Pacific Coast Highway, here's the exotic car rental place. Royal Exotic Car Rentals. Finito, they're done. Hey, look, for a lease. There you go, that's, that's an effective marketing tool right there. <laughs> wow, okay. Hey man, I was thinking about uh, renting that place. What's it like, 45, 50 grand a month? Ah, that sounds great. Yeah, that sign's gonna be the thing that's gonna do it. Okay, stock market. Stock market is approaching an all time high. It is anticipated that we're going to have this thing called a Santa Claus rally. Now, here's the worst part is that the banks get huge 
bonuses this time of year and they want to prove their worth to their bosses so the likelihood that we're going to see certain stocks shoot up by the way for lease another one down for the count again i am on pacific coast highway guys this is fantasy land. the odds that we'll see the stock market shoot up again are very high it happens most of the time in december that being said there are going to be millions and billions of dollars worth of bonuses paid out now in the month of november alone i found a great site that's got statistics on dividends that were paid. There were over 6,000 dividends paid out in the month of November. And here's the crazy thing. It was only like eight, okay? It was only like eight stocks less than October. So there's a tremendous amount of companies paying dividends. There are companies that pay dividends like the rich people ripping by Anyways, there was um, there was over a hundred stocks that had dividends paid that were not scheduled. In other words, they were kind of surprise dividends. Here's another place for lease, guys. Okay, you can get 2,800 square feet right here. So, again, this is an absolute mess. But that likelihood that we're going to see a stock market Santa Claus rally is high. When you look at the experts talk about this, look at these places, guys. I'm going to walk back here a little bit. You know. Um, you, like people like Mohammed Al Arian, he says, you know, the Fed completely blew it on inflation. The Fed made all these phone, all these calls, and uh, they're completely wrong. But get, guys, check this out, man. This is just all, all this retail and these car lots and boat lots are just completely done. So Mohammed Al Arian says that the Fed got it completely wrong, and it was uh, a huge mistake on what they did about inflation. And the other thing is that um, in Congress, they're kind of sc uh, scurrying right now because of the child tax credit. The child tax credit ends after the December 15th payment. And what are we gonna do? Are we gonna extend this? Well, I don't think they should extend it. I think it's ridiculous that they extend it. By the way, this is not stimulus money, guys. This is money that people would get normally on their tax return as a tax refund, and you just happen to get it on a monthly basis for the last six months. So, check it out, guys. Another vacant building, you know? So, you've got Mariner's Point here. Uh, that's Dover and PCH right here. And this place is just, you know, it's just not doing well, to say the least. This is what they call uh, Miracle Mile in Huntington Beach. And uh, share your thoughts and all this stuff. Sorry for the car noise, you know? Open set today, couldn't have them control that. But share your thoughts and all this stuff. The child tax credit, you know, here's the thing, talking to all these different accountants and stuff, there was a lot of different proposals in the last year and a half for tax benefits. One of them that was fantastic was, if you were forced to stay home, which is basically all of us, and if you're self-employed, you could basically pay yourself in a tax, a, a refundable tax credit, uh, of uh, up to, it was like so much, so many dollars, $50 a day. It would, could be up to $6,000. They get all these proposals that get proposed, but, but then they don't come together. You can always check the IRS website and look at tax proposals. They're fascinating to take a look at. But, you know, and again, if you haven't received your stimulus checks, call the IRS, okay? Recovery rebate, okay? Call the IRS and you can get that as well, okay? But uh, guys, I mean, this is this is amazing, okay? Look at this place, best donut shop. Best donuts in California, surrounded by all this empty retail. You should go check that place out and see if they're any good during the day. But again, guys, isn't this crazy? Absolutely crazy that there's this many vacancies. What do you do with all this retail that's done? I'm in Corona Del Mar, California right now, just down the coast from Newport Beach. And here's another high-end salon available. The business behind it, that's done too, okay? So what do you do with all this retail space? Uh, I had a startup present to me uh, late this week about, uh, well, here's another one. 
another salon next door to that one. This is done too. I, I had a startup present to me uh, vertical farming, okay? Where you take uh, one acre of land and you can generate basically 76 acres of produce from one acre of land with hydroponics and all that stuff. Is that the future? What are you gonna do with retail spaces like this? Uh, Brian Moynihan, the CEO of Bank of America says, huh. he did the rounds on the talk, uh, Sunday talk shows yesterday and said, yeah, inflation's, uh, it's here, it's, it's coming back. Uh, you know, but again, guys, you know, they were talking more about bonuses and about, you know, don't fret the high-end fees of your management, uh, your uh, account management. Who has a, an investment account that has management fees right now? Are you that wealthy that you've got that? Because that's was his concern, okay? You know, Morgan Stanley, they finally joined the inflation party. They finally joined the tapering party and said that they are predicting that there will be seven uh, rate increases in 2022, seven, okay? I have, I have professors, I have economists, I have wannabe economists, I have people that are just general knowledge people that want to be active in the market and the consensus the majority of them have said interest rates right now Dan should be at 14 to 15 percent okay are they lunatics guys oh damn we couldn't afford the money it would destroy the real estate market guys real estate market is tapering right now it's got a problem oh here you go guys wow look at this place pro travel done down for the count guys what a beautiful spot. Do you understand? I used to drive by here and just look at places like this and just say, wow, what a great, what a great place for an office and, and what just a beautiful, beautiful retail spot. Again, finished. Now, when do places like this become cheaper? Okay. Across the street, uh, they had a bunch of places for lease. Now somebody took over. It's going to be optimum, optimum salons where you can rent the salon suites that's become really popular lately but what do you guys think about this you guys think that this is the way to go you think that this is going to be the future so just a beautiful neighborhood but again even this beautiful neighborhood is not uh you know they're 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 subject to the same economic downturn that you are now check this out next to that optimus salons the place across the street, the place next door, pardon me, is available. This place here is available. I mean, guys, Danny Navarro Real Estate. Where's Danny? Danny's done, okay? So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. I really want to know what you think. Some of these restaurants are still doing good. You got the pizza place out here. It's got good food. You got the uh, consignment shops that are doing well. Certain places are holding up. I'm right by the Port Theater right now, and uh, you've got the retail next to that that's available. You know, CNN did an article about how the global economy is out of sync. And you would normally have things start at different times and certain areas do better than others, but you're seeing that everything's a mess right now globally. The Evergrande problem is going to produce such a huge problem as far as uh, real estate is concerned. To give you an idea, world's largest real estate company, but they're also twice the size of their competitor, okay? So there's that. Now, by the way, this place is done right here. You just walked by another closed business, okay? Now, you know, retail in Australia having the same problem that we're having here okay the only thing that's thriving right now is warehouse space and here in Orange County it's expensive outside of Orange County is the Inland Empire and the Inland Empire has cheaper real estate that's where play people like Amazon have gone to Skechers large companies but they are building huge tilted buildings in uh, Riverside and San Bernardino County and uh, they can't get enough of these right now. So you're seeing this global catch up with everything and it's a problem with the supply chain, 
with retail. If the economy's so good, why are people not shopping? They don't have the money, that's why. I'm gonna have to, you know, play that game with you guys. So, share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. I really wanna know what you think. You know, there's remodeling at Chipotle, you know, a block up here. There's a famous realtor that just moved in up the street. I'll show you that. The IRS just announced it took in a record $565 billion in taxes. Absolutely un un unbelievable when you think about that, if things are so bad. Also, if you guys watch uh, Selling Sunset, uh, the Oppenheim Group, they have an office here in Newport Beach now. And uh, they're doing quite well. They were open just a few months ago, but again, doing really, really well. You know, Josh Altman, Altman Brothers, they've got an office here in Newport Beach. And uh, again, selling that high-end real estate that somebody wants to get. Now, it's funny. The CEOs of CVS, Target, uh, Walgreens went to Congress and said, we need help with the crime spree. We need you to do something. How about prosecute criminals, guys? Why does Congress have to do something, okay? It's ridiculous that the police go out and arrest these people and <laughs> nothing happens to them. They get a, the parking ticket. In Chicago, there is a high-end uh, uh, car dealership that had a watch area inside the store. And thieves went in there with hammers, broke through the glass cases, and stole what it looks like $2 million for the watches. Unbelievable. Guys down the street from that, they weren't as lucky. They stole only $11,000 for the fur coats. This is lunacy, guys. This is absolutely crazy that you're having this type of theft all over the place. Now, the uh, LA uh, Sheriff, LA County Sheriff, this guy stepped forward uh, this week and said, you know, something's gotta be done because, you know, you're getting people that go in, commit these heinous crimes, some with guns, some with gun charges, that are basically given a notice to appear, which is basically a parking ticket. Do you think thug number one is going to show up? Okay, share your thoughts on that one, guys. Okay, so I'm at Coast Highway and Marguerite. If I went down this street, guys, you've seen me go to Corona del Mar, the beach, dozens and dozens of times. But uh, I'm gonna end this thing also with the uh, news about uh, uh, Japan. Japan has had a flurry of, uh, of uh, earthquakes and uh, they anticipate that these earthquakes could lead to a bigger quake. One thing about living in earthquake country is that a smaller quake and the aftershocks that you get sometimes can lead to a much bigger quake. They're anticipated, anticipating that uh, uh, Japan could have a huge earthquake within the next seven days. Now, that being said, guys, if you live in earthquake country or you live in tornado country, these poor people in Kentucky, that 200 mile swath of land that just got taken out, you've got to prepare for this. Now, I understand nobody can, pre can prepare for that stuff, but you've got to prepare yourself in some way for this type of stuff. Now, living here in Southern California, with all the earthquakes and everything that we have here, you've got to have an earthquake kit. You've got to be prepared that you won't have food, water, electricity for days on end. You've got to have money on hand. You've got to have, you know, everything, medications, everything. And people need to prepare for that. Now, the people in Japan got to prepare for this for that reason. You know, these poor people in Kentucky that just got absolutely decimated this last week, that is horrible, okay? Now, this leads to the final story, and that is Mr. Jeff Bezos is trying to pat himself on the back for his space nonsense and one of the Amazon warehouses, think about what I'm about to tell you. These employees were not allowed to have phones in there and couldn't call for help. And uh, the Amazon warehouse got destroyed uh, during the tornado, okay? I'm really sick of this space race nonsense. I really want these guys to get called out for this because I'm telling you, as we hit the holiday season, there are children hungry. There are families that are going without. The average person right now, I want you to think about this, the average family in this winter period is gonna spend $500 more to heat their home. Where do you get 500 bucks from? Seriously, where does that money come from, okay? 
Well, Jeff Bezos doesn't get it. He, you know, he's going to date the weather girl. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. I really want to know what you guys think about this. Uh, please don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, share this with everybody. Wanted to do something a little different on retail. You know, people have requested, Dan, show the high-end cities and the problems that they're having. They're having the same problems, guys. So onward and upward, guys. I will see you very soon. And let me know what you guys think about all this. Okay?